welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022 here in Bucharest in Romania, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dan Scherblum, who is the Director General of the Swedish Post and Telecommunications Authority. Dan, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Pleased to be here. Now, I'd like to ask you, you've, uh, you're obviously, I'm sure you're a busy man, uh, why have you prioritised your week here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference? Well, the Plenipotentiary Conference is a very important event, obviously, for uh, the ITU. It's where we elect the coming period's uh, top officials. And uh, with, with digitization spreading through our daily lives and our uh, private and professional uh, activities, uh, the focus of, of that new leadership on, on digital is something that we think is, is very important. So we, we want to ensure that we have the best opportunity for the coming period, which will be critical for, for everyone, I think. And in terms of uh, key priorities, what are Sweden's key priorities during this conference? Yeah, so back to the digital uh, development I just mentioned, uh, we, uh, we are strongly committed to uh, activities to bridging the remaining digital divide, which uh, affects us uh, everywhere. We, we really want to think of digital as opportunities. There's so much good in digital for, for us on a personal level, on a professional level, for, for our uh, businesses and for our governments, with e-government having so much potential. But in order to realize any or all of that uh, across the globe, we really have to reach out and connect those who are not yet connected. And for us, it's, it's very important also that we don't merely talk about uh, connect, connections in, in the physical format, but we need to build trust in systems to get people to be comfortable with sharing their data, uh, as you may have to do for many of these services, uh, and also the abilities of, of less fortunate groups, groups that are significantly behind when we talk about the digital divide in my country, we often talk about elderly uh, people, we talk about uh, people with functional variations, we talk about new, newly arrived immigrants, and more and more we're actually talking about uh, some of the younger generation. They may be very happy with their games, but they are not always so connected in terms of uh, real connectivity. So those are areas that we believe are important for the coming period. I was going to ask you, uh, but in, in terms of sort of challenges of connectivity, I would imagine Stockholm's, I mean, smart city, it's, uh, it, 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 there's not, no, no major challenges there, but is the rest of the country as well connected? So we have, uh, we have a lot of experience in uh, what it takes to connect a, a large and sparsely populated country. Uh, there are many uh, difficulties and uh, we have been at it for a long time and we still believe that there may be like one in ten that needs to have much better physical connectivity than, than is the case today. And then, as I mentioned, also the building the trust and getting people to be in the right mindset to actually use the services and, and therefore bring on the opportunities. Uh, that's, that's very much our focus, and we would bring that into, into our experience. But we've also been very much active in, in the international scene. So we, we have for almost 10 years now been running a capacity building program together with our development uh, agency in sub-Saharan Africa where we really work on peer-to-peer -peer engagement. So it's their projects that we develop together in, in, a, in a format that uh, I'm very committed to. I think that's, it's, it's been a great success and uh, many of the, the participants have spoken very warmly about the experience. So that's also something that we would bring into what we would like to see the ITU doing more in terms of bridging the digital divide. Okay, well, let's talk about ITU. I mean, you, you mentioned this is a very important conference. It decides really the, the future of ITU for the next four years. Yes. Uh, how do you see the future of ITU if, just in, the, in, the, in the forthcoming future? Yes, well, I'd like to think of it uh, very positively, of course. I think there's so much opportunity. Uh, so I think we, we all just need to to accept that we are at a place where we can, can make an impact and say, let's use digital for good. And for good for whom? For good for the people, for our constituencies, for everyone. Let's bring everyone on board and uh, let's make it open, transparent and, and accessible to everyone. And I think that's, that's really uh, one road ahead for, for the ITU that we should choose to take. 
there are many other roads that we could potentially take which would not lead us in that good direction. So it, it is a very important time for the ITU to go in the right direction moving forward. Well, thank you for taking the time to be with us in the studio today. And hopefully we'll catch up with you at some stage in the very near future. Maybe we'll, we'll come and, uh, and see your work in, in Sweden. You will be most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Dan. Thank you.